we're going to run a single fiber optic cable from the main building all the way out here to this switch. Hi tech lovers, welcome back to Fast Cabling. Today we're tackling a real world problem that goes way beyond just plugging in a camera. So our client operates a massive outdoor perimeter. We're talking long distances, uneven ground, and equipment that faces blazing sun, pouring rain, and everything in between. Now they didn't just need eyes on the perimeter, they needed a voice too, a system for monitoring and for making live announcements or warnings. But when we looked at the plan, we hit a major wall. The standard 100 meters limits for PoE were blowing right past it, which meant crippling voltage drop and a network that just wouldn't work. So how do we push power and data hundreds of meters through a harsh environment to multiple devices? The answer isn't a longer cable. It's a smarter and tougher hub placed right in the field. And this is exactly what we need. Let's meet the hero of our setup, an L2 Plus managed outdoor PoE fiber switch. This isn't your average indoor switch. This is a hardened centralized control unit designed to live outside. An IP67 waterproof rating means it can handle direct rain and dust. It's fellas, so nothing get clogged and it operates in a brutal temperature range from minus 30 degrees up to 60 degrees. And it's built for this job. It has four PoE Plus ports that deliver up to 30 watts each. Perfect for powering high-performance PDZ cameras, bullet cameras, and power-hungry IP speakers. But its secret weapon is right here. These are the dedicated fiber optic uplink ports. Instead of trying to push a weak electrical signal over a long copper cable, we use light. We're going to run a single fiber optic cable from the main building all the way out here to this switch. And this solves everything. Distance, we can go 10 kilometers or more. EMI interference from machinery or storms, email. Speed and bandwidth for multiple HD video stream, gigabit guaranteed. So the copper headache is gone. So here's the complete picture. In the server room, we have a fiber switch. And every outdoor zone, like this pole here, get its dedicated fiber link. The fiber plug into the outdoor switch so we can connect to PDZ and Blitz cameras and IP speakers. So let's begin. So in the server room, we have our fiber switch and the network video recorder. Our fiber switch has eight SFP slots and two ethernet port. So we can use a short patch cord to connect to the ethernet port directly with the NVR so we can display video footage. And the NVR is already connected to a big screen monitor using HDMI cable. For the other ethernet port, we are going to connect with the IP speakers microphone. It's done. Now we are going to use a fiber patch cord, connect with the fiber switch. But before you do it, make sure you pick the right SFP transceiver at each end. Just plug it in and you are golden. But why fiber patch cord? Because it goes directly into our termination box. Makes it neat. This keeps everything organized, isolated, and easy to troubleshoot. The fiber patch cord go on this side, and the other side connects with the fiber optic cable all the way out to the field. This fiber patch cord is connected to our string D. This is a two-string fiber optic cable. Coming right here, we can see our speaker's microphone. And let's take our fiber optic cable all the way to the outdoor switch. Again, we need the SFP transceiver. Slide it into the SFP slots. Now let's pull our fiber optic cable in. A pro installation tips is always use pre-made single mode fiber patch cable. They're affordable, reliable, 
and save you a world of fusion splicing hassle. And this one has two strain, give you extra. Remember, we use strain D, so let's plug in strain D. And for this PoE port, we are going to plug in three Ethernet cable, one for the PDZ camera, one for the bullet camera, and one for the IP speaker. So now we're providing both power and data directly to the device. Now, when you do the installation, after you pull all the cable in, make sure you use a wrench to fasten the neck and the gland. Hand tight is usually not enough to make sure it has IP67 rated. So now let's walk through our whole setup again. And here we are getting live video feed from both our PDZ camera and the bullet camera. Also, our IP speaker. And now, with an outdoor managed switch at the field, we can unlock some game-changing features for performance and security. First, VLANs. Virtual LANs, we can create separate virtual networks on the same physical gear. So all the cameras are on one VLAN and the broadcast speaker is on another. This cementation dramatically improves security and network efficiency. Camera traffic won't interfere with critical audio announcements. And second, quality of service, QoS. That IP speaker isn't just a siren, it might need to broadcast live voice, so we can give its data stream straight priority in the switch, ensuring announcements are always instant and crystal clear, even when the cameras are uploading high bandwidth video. But before you do all this, make sure you use managed switches on both ends. This fiber switch isn't one, so we recommend this one here. This is our 8 SFP plus 8 Ethernet port fiber managed switch, so you can place it at your main office. So to recap, when distance and the elements challenge your security project, don't fight physics with thicker copper. You can extend your network with fiber. So this setup is scalable, clean, and solve the core pain points perfectly. If you have a big outdoor project, this could be your blueprint. And what other tough installation do you want us to cover? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe so you won't miss the next one. Thank you very much for joining us, and I'll see you in our next video.